Hello, this is Guy Shavit with Signamax, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure a C300 series switch uh, for use in a Crestron uh, audio over IP solution. So the first thing we need to do is configure IGMP, the Internet Group Management Protocol. So we're going to go here to Multicast, IGMP Snooping, General, and we're going to enable IGMP and the querier. Uh, and we're going to keep IJP snooping version 2 here. Uh, Dante recommends using version 3, but Crestron recommends using version 2, so we will keep that there and apply. Next, we need to configure uh, the IGMP on the specific VLAN uh, that we're going to be using. So I go here to configure VLAN. Uh, by default, VLAN 1 is used on the switch on all ports. If you have changed VLAN configuration, uh, you need to pick the VLAN that the Crestron uh, devices are going to be on. Uh, we're going to enable IGMP snooping here as well. Uh, we want to enable the multicast router discovery and, and also immediate leave status. Uh, we're going to change the query interval here to 15. And we're going to set a proxy address. It, it doesn't really matter what this address is. It just needs to be something that's not used on the system. This is the, the address that the switch will insert into packets uh, when it's proxying the, the IGMP uh, uh, frames. Uh, some devices have an issue with a non-address uh, uh, packets being, uh, being sent. So, so that's what the, the proxy address is for. We're going to apply. The next thing we need to configure is the quality of service. So we're going to go here to traffic, priority, and first of all, in trust mode, we're going to change them all to all the ports that have Crestron devices on it to be DSCP. Uh, I'm going to do that to all the ports in this case and apply. Next, we're going to go to the DSCP to queue settings. And we need to set uh, specific queues to be uh, at uh, low, medium, or high priority. And I am going to set all of the others uh, to zero. And apply that. Uh, so what I did there was uh, ESCP value eight needs to be in queue uh, two. Uh, the next one that we need to set is going to be 32. So we'll set everything else to zero on the way. And each page we are going to apply before we move on. Okay, so here 32 we want to set to six. The next value that Crestron needs is 46 which we're also going to set to 6. And the last uh, is going to be 56, which we will leave at 7, which is the highest hue. Uh, there's a C300 series switches have 8 hardware quality of service uh, queues, so it goes between 0 and 7. Okay, that's that for quality of service. Uh, next thing we want to configure it's going to be disabling uh, energy efficient Ethernet, uh, which is here. Uh, this saves uh, electricity, uh, but uh, has some issues with audio devices. Now, once I apply, I'm going to lose connectivity uh, to the switch while it resets the ports. Uh, that would be just momentarily. So we're going to get that back probably pretty quickly. Okay. Last thing is that we need to always remember when we're changing configuration, anything we did changed and took effect immediately. That's why we saw that when we disabled the uh, energy efficient Ethernet, uh, we got disconnected momentarily. But uh, if the switch, the switch reboots or resets at this point, it's going to revert back to the startup configuration. Uh, that's why we need to always save at that button right over here, uh, and then we wait for a success message. And that's it. The switch is now configured uh, for Crestron and can, uh, you know, will continue with that configuration even after reboot.
One other option we have is uh, we've uh, prepared a configuration file that has these exact configurations that you could upload to the switch instead of configuring manually if you have no other configuration changes you want to make. Uh, so what we would do is go to the Sigmax website under uh, the C300 series switch and downloads. There is a Crestron solution guide. And uh, at the bottom, after uh, explanations of all the different configurations we just made and how to do them, uh, there is a uh, C300 series Crestron configuration file. Now, this is a uh, zip uh, file, so we will have to uh, save uh, the, let me save it here to the desktop, save the, the configuration file inside it, and then in the switch, we can go to System, File, Copy. I am going to do HTTP Upload. I'm going to choose the file type as a config, and then choose the file that I just saved uh, on my desktop. There it is. And I can apply. Now, because uh, I am copying that configuration file directly to the startup config. That means that the, that is not going to take effect until I reboot, but then there's no, there's no need to save because it is already the startup config. So what we could do is just directly reboot the switch, reset by immediately. The switch will now reboot, and when it comes back up in a couple minutes, it will have that uh, pre-prepared -pre configuration file. Uh, Anyway, so those are two ways that you can configure a C300 series switch for uh, use in a Crestron uh, network, either manually uh, or, or through a, a, the prepared configuration file. Uh, thank you. Have a good day.